did and you probably didn't see it but now I'm in the city of Munich in Germany I want to go from one side of the inner town to the other side of the inner town yeah. and based on discover cities I get uh, several options to choose I can do it either the entire stretch by foot walking I can take the car or I can combine walking and public transport those are data that all incorporated into our discover cities project so I'll pick the one where I this is the, the blue or the purple line you see this is the, the walking bit and then there's a stretch and it's done by public transport and then walk to the final destination now I can have an overview of my entire trip which is almost two kilometers it will take eight minutes and this is the carbon footprint that is being produced by this particular trip. Okay. Now I can I can have a closer look so get the turn by turn instructions listed as well. Okay. And then still based on the same data I can Preview my work. So you see it starts to move, and actually, what I can do is put myself in 3D mode where the enhanced city models come into play. Very, very nice. Now rendered images that are almost a 100% replica of the actual situation in Munich that help me to orientate and be guided to the city. Okay. So this is something that we particularly developed for this app, but it's not uh, like that. This is our app. Um, so soon as you make your transfer from walking to public transport, it lifts itself up. Otherwise you would travel through the buildings, which was of course yeah. not uh, good from a visual perspective. So this is the uh, representation of your trip. Um, I can also say, put it in a hole and say, well, I'm going to in a second. Yeah. And have a look around, what's around. That's the proper 3D landmark. Everything else is yeah. just approximation. Yes. And then you have the landmark. You can see the texture. The texture, the color, is it accurate or is it just it's random? Uh, it's uh, atmospheric, uh, atmospherically correct. So Paris will have different textures, but it's not the exact same thing building by building. But it matches reality. We have the picture showing the difference between our model and uh, the real area. Excellent, yeah. So I can just look around, what's around me, and I can... You see the pedestrian uh, geometry in the park? Yes. And then I continue my trip. Still my Can you jump to Barcelona so you can see maybe the outside if possible? Yeah. Just wanted to compare. I'll try. I'll, I'll try. No problem. We just got a new version of Barcelona. Is this already in pre-alpha or is it even an earlier stage of software? So, uh, well, uh, Discover, our Discover City products are already used uh, by some customers like well, Nokia uses it. Okay. Discover City. Yeah, so Nokia obviously has it already uh, operational in its uh, OV Maps product. Uh, we have Garmin with City Explorer. And uh, there, there are a lot of other small companies that are already using our data. But let's say Garmin and Nokia are the, the main ones. With this application, uh, we worked on this with uh, one of our partners uh, because we wanted to show how it could look like if somebody would actually use all the different data and content that we are providing as part of this product. Because not everybody is utilizing all the features from the start. They have you know, features and something. We want to make sure people see the value of having all this information. This is where we are. 